I know people get robbed at the cash point. Mm -hmm. So I might put my hood up, I might broaden my shoulders. I think naturally you're going to want to look intimidating. I have the opposite. I would care how they see me. No one talks about skinny shaming ever and it's a massive problem with men. I have tattoos looking the way I do, bald hair, like intimidating. You look. have to speak to let people know. Yeah, and I feel like it just shows you that you shouldn't like, judge someone from for their image. Please define toxic masculinity. We live in a world now where chivalry is punished. So many young men are suicidal and reckless. I think there's no toxic feminism. There's one group of people that says, yes, your life does suck. And that's these toxic masculine people. What are you going to do about it? Yes, people, my name is David Whiteley. Welcome to the space. And today we're going to be speaking about men's image. Okay, so we're talking about image, right? And I'm yeah. interested in this idea of like how men want to be perceived by the rest of the world. Because I think that's a a pretty intense conversation. Yeah. There's lots of things with masculinity and the ways that we show up, the ways that we want to feel, the ways that we want other people to treat us. I'm wondering like how that shows up for you, if it shows up for you, if the, the way that you feel you are as a man influences the way you want other people to speak to you, chat to you, show you love. I think at first glance, as a man, I think it's natural to, to sort of, let's say, you know, you're walking in the street at night, you know, I think it's, as a man, you'd want to be seen as perhaps intimidating. Yeah. Oh, really? Which, yeah. which, which, which sounds... Oh, which to other men? You yeah, mean? yeah. Oh, yeah, not yeah, to women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, that's sounds, the important thing to clarify. Which obviously is, is a negative thing to say, but I think, I think naturally you're going you're gonna to want to look I intimidating or, uh, or maybe ready yeah. uh, to, to protect yourself, ready to... Do you, do you know what I mean? So, ra so rather than... Because you're saying, is it a bad thing to yeah. be considered intimidating? You're no, saying intimidate or ready? ready. It's more so like, yeah. with it. if you came over here, it's not going to be easy. Yeah, it's it not sounds like a war zone. You. Where are you walking? Exactly. That's what I mean. That's when I say it, it, it sounds negative. Because it, 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 it does. It uh, is a war zone. That's I, I disagree. Thing. For me, image is everything. The first time you see someone, you instantly get, I've seen you, I've seen you, I've seen instantly. I'm thinking, okay, especially Harry. Because Harry's got quite a distinctive <laughs> uh, image. I thought he was going to say me. Uh, <laughs> sorry. No, go. Carry no, on, no, go. Image carry is on. everything. Because already you're thinking, okay, what sort of person is Harry like? Mm, tattoos. I've got the intimidating the look. He's got, <laughs> I don't know about intimidating. The <laughs> shoes. I'm looking at you and you've got your um, Doc Martens on. Image is everything. Mm -hmm. I think just, intimidation is a vibe? Um, Come it's on, nothing man. that... Okay, you, I, I like it de it depends that on the situation. If you're saying oh, you're seen in a, in a dark street or what, I feel like it's, it's totally different. But then if you're seen in a different side I mean, of... Are yeah. we going to pretend that there's not certain girls that like their guy to kind of seem yeah. a bit... Because yeah, they, they like to feel protected yeah. and you feel protected by someone that is seen as intimidating to other yeah. men who could pose a threat you don't know. But you also I, have to be seen as approachable as well. Yeah. Is intimidation always about like physical... Presence is that what you're talking about? Like yes, stature I think so. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. I, at the end of the day, okay. everything you can't be uh, you mentally know. intimidating without speaking. I feel like there's people that I might be intimidated by because of their state rather than them. because of their Wait, appearance. That, mean, that means you knew them already, though. So you yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. You obviously, uh, yeah, I said for, at first glance. Yeah, that, fair. yeah. That, I think that's only in first glance. Knowing a guy's status and then continuing to be intimidated. That is, that is because, and I think that is just as good as having a status that leads people to believe that you know, you're, you're intimidating or not someone to mess with. Mm. Because obviously, as, as like you said, it sounds like a war zone. It's, it sounds a bit drastic. You should just go into the supermarket. Why do you need to intimidate them exactly. by pushing the trolley? Are but, you right? Yes. Why? Yes. I don't understand. Pushing the trolley Dep the Depends on where you go into the supermarket. Depends on which supermarket. Some of them picking up a lettuce and you've got to intimidate me. No. To get I'm the better saying, lettuce. No, no, no. The, the, the intimidation <laughs> is, I think you're thinking of something more Overt. It sounds, when, con it sounds like confrontation. Is, no, yeah, it's it not confrontation. It it's actually the avoidance of confrontation. It, it is. Hold on, that's important. It is. Because you're saying it's not confrontation, mm. it's the avoidance of confrontation. You're saying it is confrontation, there's which a, is two different there's things. There's a big overlap with that because sometimes to avoid confrontation, you need to like be perceived as a bigger threat than you are. Yeah. But I think if you're talking supermarket like Whole Foods in Richmond, I don't care how they see me mm -hmm. because who's going to do anything there? You see, I have the opposite. I would care how they see me because I don't want them to think in, I'm in, the broke one yeah. in Whole Foods. But why? But, 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 right. but why? That's a warfare. That's a form of warfare. I want them to think I'm on their level. That's not warfare. I'm... But that's a status thing as well. Yeah. And so, I'm talking like a much more primal level where I would rather be seen as broke than someone who can be bullied or like even mugged or robbed, depending yeah. on where you go. True. Yeah. You don't want it. Yeah. You don't want a uh, status got, yeah. uh, that makes you vulnerable or makes you it's, more, it's more of a, a desirable target yeah. for bad people. It's not even a status because the outcome of me seeming like a victim physically means I could be a victim of a crime. Mm -hmm. The outcome of me seeming broke, I don't care. I could have all the money in the world and I'm still probably going to dress the same. Yeah. I'm not interested in the designer brand. I'm not interested in the name. I completely agree. We make judgments based on how people look. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, 
if you don't seem competent. Like the way a thief would uh, think, uh, think mm -hmm. they look for, does someone pay attention to their surroundings? Mm -hmm. Does someone look yeah. like an easy victim? Uh, head always down, head on his foot. Uh, yeah, but that could be the teenager with the headphones with the tracksuit and the Ugg boots. Exactly, and, that's and, that's why it's and important. they need to be aware of how they are perceived in exactly. the sense of physical that's, crime. That's why the status is really important to, um, in that sense, in, anyway, mm -hmm. to, to portray yourself as yeah. someone who isn't, um, you know, that weak. dossing. Yeah. So as, as a man, do you feel like, or as men, do you feel unsafe? Yes. Like when you're when you're yeah. in the street. Wow. Yes. What yeah. streets you do you go to? <laughs> any, 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 and all, especially yeah, in London now, because it's getting worse. I've, I've, I've. What's your sorry? What's your fear? Why are you? What are you scared of? My fear is I know what people can do. What do you think they're gonna do to you? I'm really they curious. They can about do this. anything. Get anything. I could get randomly robbed, randomly stabbed. It just takes not even maybe three, maybe two semi-competent men who can fight can to hold me down and do whatever. And, I don't. And, it, like and it, all that. it could spark from is a wrong look. Literally, it could spark from nothing. Literally. It could spark from me having big over ear headphones. It really happens. That, 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 that happens. Yes. What do you mean? It's not that I think it, that it happened happens. That happened one time to me, and I did use words and logic to think it because this guy was staring at me and my brother, and I was just like, I literally looked at him and I was like, bro, what are we doing? I don't even know you, and you don't even know me. Let's just keep it moving. We don't need to do that. For ages, do you get what I'm saying? Some people you can do that with. Some people yeah, you, you can't. You might say that to the wrong person. You might say that to the wrong person and, and, and it don't go that way. And it yeah. only needs to happen to you. Okay. It's like for women. You think you can tell a woman to not walk out of house every day and feel like watching her surroundings when she's experienced what she's experienced. Yeah, let's say, so she's, experienced, to women, let's say she's experienced it even just once. There's certain things you only want to experience yeah, once. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? So if you're experiencing catcalling, but for our version of it now, it's just that I know how fragile the male ego is, mm -hmm. including mine. So now me and a guy that I don't know, we both reach for the lettuce at the same time. Yeah. And I feel like I was standing there first. So I say, bro, I was reaching for the lettuce. And the second I say, bro, I was reaching for the lettuce, I understand I've opened myself up to it. Anything happening in that scenario. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The lettuce is a crazy so, so, example. Someone, someone, but it is, <laughs> but it is a, a good point. A man might fight you over lettuce. Wow. Yeah, they could get to, someone could get the back of me like what like, you know, and 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 some and some guys could literally what about? get into a position on how you how you want how to be your perceived. Image, yeah. Yeah. Whether you look one way or the other, whether Fair you look point. masculine or feminine, as long as you know where you stand and you know yeah. what you can you do, can't you know what say you can as long do. As you yeah, because because I, I, I feel some like guys, you're going to be capable of doing whatever you're going to. But you'll never yeah. know. That's the thing mm. because you don't know what they're carrying. You don't know who they've got nearby because we only want to seem like a threat if we think there are threats nearby. Yeah. If yeah. I'm like working with kids, they're not going to do anything. I don't want to seem like a think. threat. I just don't want. I just want to seem like ah, oh, let's leave him because it's long. He looked like he would. Same be, thing. Yeah, same he thing. He looked like. Let's say you think you take me. But yeah. you understand I'm gonna fight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me go to the person that'll be like, take, take it and go. Well, they got yeah, it's living image. prison rules every day. Nah, it's, it's not it's, in the supermarket. It's very <laughs> subconscious. Like which okay. is there like a series of events before it gets to this. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I don't feel so, like I've been in this situation where there's you wanna get to the point where you wanna fight someone. I, I don't think I've not been in a situation where I've got to the point where I wanna Thank fight you. someone. I felt like I was I've never been in that. No, no, no. No, no, no. Really? I don't know how comfortable There's been road rage. There's road rage. No, yeah. I've never, I've never had to fight someone. Like, I, and I've never got to the point where I've wanted to do that. But I do understand. I think the lettuce example is wild. But I do understand. <laughs> if I'm going to the cash point at night, for example, I know people get robbed at the cash point. Mm -hmm. So I might put my hood up. I might broaden my shoulders yeah. and like be looking around. That's me all we're sure. saying. Yeah. yeah. But, but as but a I'm black not, man, people be doing that when they see you. They'll yeah, of course. Check to themselves. And I like and I think, it a little bit. I think there's other work that has to happen to like. <laughs> <laughs> there's other work that has to happen to stop that thing from happening in general. Yeah. But I also think while you live in it, sometimes you've got to keep yourself safe. And I don't think you should actually pose a real threat to anybody else. But I do think there's something about uh, portraying to somebody that you're not, or you are, you've never not your something shoulders. to be messed around with. Anybody? No, no, no. When I say square your shoulders, you're just like, you've never, you've never walked a bit, just a yeah, little bit like, different. You've stand never Stand up a bit more straight. You've yeah, never... Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think it's awkward because the, the mo I think the most desired thing that a man um, like wants, um, you know, in his status to be seen by other men is to be taken seriously, to be respected. Respected. Yeah. To be respected. I don't care about either. Sounds, it sounds no, like you no, don't want to be, be taken, feared. No, I don't want to be feared. Even, even with the lettuce example, right? Yeah. If if someone if someone else if someone else puts their hand on your lettuce, <laughs> <laughs> someone else puts their hand on your lettuce, yeah. right? That and, and then goes, hey, my, you know, I had my, you know, mm -hmm. it was mine. That could even make 
a man feel disrespected? Yes. You know, what, 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 why, is he, why do you think he can come up? Isn't that an insecure man? Don't yes. you? Okay, cool. And just leave it. It's a letter. No, I'm at that point now Absolutely. in my life. <laughs> I'm at the point of let's just leave it now. Yeah, because that's, but that's mature. Not, yeah, you're no, no. Grown. You're I'm adult. at the point now. Yeah, because been, you're an adult. No, because I've been a, no, I've been an adult. And Not the other men are like that. <laughs> like, there's men that are older there than are, me. There are lots of men our age and older who still yes. think you can't put that, like, their crime or whatever, and it's and not is, good. Because is it's that masculine. is that to do with men and men? Is it like only men versus yes. men? No. It's not women involved in that. No, equation. that's not true. Because there's obviously like gender-based violence against women, which is like spoken about a lot, uh-huh. and then. People don't really speak about men's violence against men in the same I way think, that it sounds like this is a men's issue explicitly. I think that's why it gets different with women because we men inherently know how to deal with men in a conflict, but with women it's different. Because obviously you're not going to go down the physical route. I don't think you should. Well, you say obviously, like the statistics yeah. would suggest I, I know, that I know men, of men who would. My belief is that you should not hit okay, a woman right. unless it's in self-defense. She's coming at you with a weapon or something. No, I personally don't want to be feared. I want to be left alone. And I think those are two different things. <laughs> no, it's two, there's a different, there's two different things. Yeah. It's like, I don't want a man to see me and think, oh, he's going to do X, Y, and Z. I just want somebody to see me and think, yeah. let me allow him. Yeah. Because it's not he worth might, it. You just don't want to live in peace, is what you're saying, really. Yeah, I want to live yeah. in peace. But I understand that to accomplish peace, sometimes somebody has to not see you as an easy target. target. Yeah. And that, I, that's all it is. Literally, the mind of a person that's going to mess with somebody is to first assess you assess the person, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and in your assessment of the person, that decides whether you choose to or you don't choose to. And in that yeah. assessment, you look for weaknesses as well. And, and, exactly. and that's why you'd, you'd want to be, you'd want to hopefully be portrayed as someone, someone with, who's capable. In, yes. my, in, that's my, it. in my life, if I've been around some a certain energies of people that I feel like are very intimidating, men that I feel like are very intimidating, I go and talk to them. I go and interact with them, but very normally, mm-hmm. because they actually aren't used to that. Mm. They are used to people being so intimidated by them that, that they, they stay away. As a but I'm just like, oh, bro, you're good. And how I'm saying you're good makes them understand that I just see you as another human being. Yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah. that makes me feel like the tension is caught. Mm-hmm. So I'm not really trying to scare nobody. I want to I wanna yeah. jump in on that because I dance a lot. My physical appearance... Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean dance? I dance, so uh, partner dancing. Like, oh, I, I okay, dance, okay, okay, like okay, actual okay. dancing. Okay, okay, okay. You can't just drop that casually. No, sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, I do a lot of salsa and bachata dancing, so partner work. I'm a personal trainer by trade, but as a hobby and now as like a side thing, I dance a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm in the dance scene, the Latin scene, mm-hmm. quite a lot. Hey. For, so- yeah, yeah. <laughs> For someone who looks like, someone who looks like me is rare. You've got the stereotypical like beard, tattoos, muscly, like I stand like I'm in the military or whatever, mm-hmm. whatever. I recognize that if I can go up to guys and just treat them normally, they will immediately think, oh, he's just like me. He's not looking to prove anything. The minute I show them my ego is down here, mm-hmm. it helps them bring it down as well. So I completely get that. That is true, yeah. That's literally all I'm saying. Your, res- your response is key. How you respond to people and how you, mainly how you respond. I completely agree. And you respond to it in a positive way, so no one's going to take more than they should. Yeah, like, like a, an example, sorry, uh, an example is that like when we dance, I like to physically take up space. Mm. But a lot of people, and I know this as a fact, interpret that as he has some kind of big man syndrome because he takes up space. Then are you good do at you? what you're doing? No, I do take up space. But do you I, have a big man syndrome? No, I okay. like moving. Are you, good? are you good though? <laughs> does, it, does it warrant it? Like, are you good at dancing? I'd say I'm good, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, you sort of you know, sort of don't mind if you're taking up space and you're good. Um, if there's space that can be taken, like if it's a crowded area, I'm not gonna. But that's beside the point. Yeah. I know that people have a certain perception of me that I may not agree with, and on some level, my ego might be hurt by it. I might think like my immediate reaction is I don't have a big man syndrome. What are you talking about? But if someone approaches me, my response is key. But sometimes when with conflict and like the war zone that we're walking in. No matter what my response will be, no matter how much you're trying to de-escalate it, sometimes fight will find you. Mm-hmm. So I think you owe it to yourself and people that you have to protect to be able to act in that worst case scenario. Do you worry about you being a dancer affecting your image? I used to, but the re- I associate masculinity a lot more with behavior and how you carry yourself rather than your image. So I realized that because it's also just all I talk about in the gym, I forget sometimes I've had like 10 years in combat sports. So when you think combat sport versus dancer, you would typically think manly, not manly. So if someone thinks I'm only a dancer, they might be more likely to like want to start something with me or whatever. But I know I'm confident in myself 
that can handle the situation that happens. So if anyone ever thinks like, oh, it's a bit free to dance, I'm like, all right, you think that. I, I would care. never think that because... No, there are loads. Dancers, dancers have strictly. No, no but there are people dancers that are too, that Nah, dancers are too flexible. I don't want to fight them, man. <laughs> really? Brother, if you're doing all that, I'm <laughs> not really trying to... Have that high nah, you, nah, you're, you're kicking me, but you're kicking me with your elbow, no? <laughs> but, you, but, you, but you know that there are people that, that, that think that, you know? Yeah, there oh, are. you're a dancer, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? And, and if they think that, they're entitled to that opinion. But yeah. I, it's, I don't think it matters. Do you not have any care about how you're perceived by other I people? Do. I do. I, I care greatly because first impressions are important. How you look is important. Like your face, your body, your, your clothes, your cleanliness, mm-hmm. everything. Like if I look like I've just come off the street, I would rather not look that way. Fair point. So a room full of good looking yeah. men. When you said slow down, when you said... <laughs> He's not, let me ask, let me get this one off, otherwise yeah. it's going to be bad now. <laughs> you can't do that. Go on. A room full of good looking men. And David. Do you, no, you're good looking. <laughs> do you not, do you not, um, do you feel like you put effort into your like physical appearance? Yeah. Is that yeah. something that matters? I was going to challenge you, what he was saying, because yeah. when he said it's important, I wanted to ask what you mean by that. Oh, okay. By what? what when you part? said, you said that it's in, like, First impressions are important, all that kind of stuff. Like, what do you mean by that? To me, it's important that the judgment people make of me at first impression mm-hmm. aligns with the values I want to portray. I don't want to come across as an asshole. I don't want to come across as someone who's inconsiderate. All of these things that I try and be, I want to be perceived so as. So somebody would think that you're inconsiderate because you're not dressed well. No, no, not dressed well, but the way I'm acting, maybe. Yeah, I'm more mint. Maybe Ken like, oh, first oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Hygiene. I want to be associated with good hygiene. Yeah, of course. Like yeah. some people genuinely don't care. Some people that's like, just con- that is that's, that's a good reputation to have, isn't it? Yeah, oh, it's a, yeah, it's a good reputation so to not yeah. be associated with well, smelling. It's not so good, well. but he's got a hole in his tracksuit. No, I, I looked for the tracksuit. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I just said, well, I thought for sure. No, I would want to wear clothes that look intact. Like if I'm going to the shop down the street, I'm less concerned with it. If I look a bit hoboish, but if I'm in my day to day, if I'm in my place of work, if I'm meeting new people, the so, better you look, the more opportunity you're going to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're, you're in a supermarket, good. I don't know, my life is in a supermarket. And you see someone <laughs> in Uggs, <laughs> and I know, I live next to a supermarket, <laughs> and they're in their pyjamas. You don't... That's I mean, me. It, it, it depends, on, me. It depends, on, it depends on the context, because That's if I'm bad. looking at my place of work, if I'm in the gym and someone looks like they've come dressed to go to the gala, I'm going to judge it a bit weird. If I'm in the supermarket and they're fully dressed as if they're going to go on a night out, maybe they're coming back from a night out. I don't know. So it, it's it's contextual, but I'm you still... You don't get an image. So you see... We'll use a woman, for example, because yeah. I never see women in pyjamas in the sure. supermarket. I see it all the time. <laughs> exactly. You don't, you don't wonder, who is she? Why is she dressed like that? Has she got I, those... Do you I, wonder I, that when you see that? Yeah. And I think everybody does, but nobody wants to admit it. No, I just see... Well, we, we, I, I just see them as free. I think, I think, I think maybe she, <laughs> lives, she lives nearby. It's more well, of a yeah, li- literally, she lives nearby. <laughs> I live she nearby. Down to the oh, she's got low self-esteem, and low self-worth. What? No. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. No. You, so your mind goes to low self-esteem when you see somebody in the supermarket in their pajamas. I would have no, said no, 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 You would think my self-esteem is on the ground. You would literally catch me in my local with a Pikachu onesie. No, I, I, think it, I think it's weird because I think all of this depends on how much a person actually cares. Because there are a lot of people who don't actually care what you think about what yeah, they're wearing. You know, so I, I think it's just about do we actually care when other people's opinions come into it? How, mu- how, much of your, how much of your status are you actually worried about other people viewing and having a, uh, you're, an opinion? You're a model. Yeah, yeah. So, so how I, much do you care? Right, so for example, like I, I have uh, friends, a couple of them um, are very, you know, they like to, they like to think they're very masculine and da, 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 and they say that, oh, you know, when men, um, when men uh, wear uh, skincare or, or or put on, you know, moisturize their face, yeah, things like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. or it's, you know, it's, it's it's very masculine and it's very, you know, and uh, and a man who who takes care of his skin and 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 things like that is very masculine. Mm. I completely disagree. I think, I mean, obviously, you could say like as a model, um, you know, I'd be like taking care of my face and things like that. But I, I just generally think there's, there's nothing wrong with taking care of your appearance, not in a materialistic way. Is it like the opposite of the woman in Asda in her pajamas? She's not taking care of her appearance, but you're supporting taking care of your appearance. You need to leave this woman alone. Guys, I hate yeah, you. Like, <laughs> it's just, it's just, just different circumstances. But, but, yeah. but this is what I mean. Like, I, you know, <clears throat> different, different people care a See, d- different amounts bit, about, about what people think. I, I, I'm just saying, like, if you're, if you're on your way to the supermarket to grab a, a little run before you go home, you're probably not going to care too much about, about yeah. what you look like and to other people. There's a difference there, isn't there, between, like, 
self-care as an act of self-care yeah. and self-care as an act of impressing other people. Exactly. Like, exactly. There is a so as, a, as a model, like if, I, if, I'm, if I'm going to a, a casting, let's say, um, uh, That's a job. I'm so probably going to want to look job. a bit better than the yeah. woman going to the supermarket. Yeah, but you'll feel more comfortable when you look better rather than dragging no, yourself no, out no, of bed. No, 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 no. You feel, comfortable you feel more comfortable, comfortable. Yeah. When, you, when you look better. I don't care. You don't care? It makes no difference to me. Okay. I'm most comfortable. Anywhere I can get away with going in a tracksuit, lit. Yeah, yeah but it's 100%. a clean tracksuit. I'm sure you're not looking no, rough. No, sometimes the tracksuit is dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could be listen, an old tracksuit. It's so funny, yeah, because sometimes I've left my house and I realise there's a thing there's a thing on this tracksuit, but I've got it on now. <laughs> So I'm not gonna put on. I'm not gonna put on another one. Yeah, I feel like it's just it's so different. Like you got going to the supermarket, for example. That's that's you can have multiple different images, mm. but that's that's not like self care. Obviously, everyone has to look after themselves all the time. But when it comes to your image, you've got the local shop going in your onesie. Mm -hmm. You've got the job interview. That's that's two totally si different sides exactly. of the scale. So different times. That you've I feel like you have to like generally look after yourself. Um, from my experience, like, I used to have long blonde hair. I used no, you to didn't. dress really? super smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like my image back then, like ten years ago, was totally different from my image now. Mm. Did you have? And tattoos? I feel like I, mm, I had a few, few like. Wow. Un, what made you change? Well, my hair just started to fall out, so <laughs> <laughs> that just happened. Yeah, it happens to a lot of us. It's real life. Yeah. Um, but oh, I feel is that like, why you dapped him up like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> These things happen, man. These things happen. Yeah. I feel like it just happened naturally. Like, I just got more in, interested in tattoos and, mm -hmm. and things like that. But back then, I used to also dress a little bit different. I used to be quite... I used to try and dress more posh, more, more like pretty boy style. Mm. And then, yeah, eventually I just got into... Got into Tattoos, got more tattoos and stuff like that. I had to, I had to shave my hair because it was falling out. And what was the thing about dressing that way? Was it for the benefit of yourself? Was it for the benefit of other yeah, people? Yeah, it's, it's for myself. To right? Like, I feel like you should always do such stuff like that you feel comfortable with. It's nice to like dress smart every day, go to work looking smart, looking clean. Also, transform into my look now. I feel like people do perceive me differently. Mm. I feel like people are more intimidated mm -hmm. by your current, um, like you were saying, by yeah, mm -hmm. just yeah. by your look, Old by bitch. the tattoos. Yeah. And does that does that do something for you? Um, not necessarily, because I'm I'm not what most people would take a first look at me and and assume. judge me as. Yeah, and assume what I'm like. I feel like I'm, you, I'm quite you, different. Do you like that? that? I do in one way. Where if you get to know me and we sit down and we have a conversation, then. Right, that element of surprise. Yeah. So that just shows you that you shouldn't like, judge someone from for their image. When you see somebody, obviously you're a barber. And when you see somebody get up after the trim, mm. do you notice a difference in their confidence, in their yeah, behavior, yeah, and stuff like that? Definitely. Now, a trim. I, I, I feel like we we can all. A trim can change your life, though. Yeah, definitely. You know, th this is the thing. Like, I feel like confidence, or like more confident people, are more likely to care mm. less about what others think of them and their status. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I think that. If if you're more confident and you care and you care less about other people's states, people will see you as someone who doesn't care what other people think, and that in itself is quite a desirable trait. Is a statement. Yeah, it's yeah, a statement. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't care what other people think. Yeah, yeah, that course. as part of your status, oh, he's someone who doesn't care yeah, what other people think. That point. is desirable in itself. Yeah, so cool. it's almost like being confident and it's wearing caring. your personality, and that, and that shows in your image, the way you dress, exactly, the way you and get that your is haircut, a good image, the way you do not certain caring. Things. That's what I was going to ask you. Does it feel like you the level of effort that you've put into your aesthetic now has changed from what it was before? Or does it feel the same? Because for me, I feel like generally on a day to day, I might dress. I dress like super comfortable all the time, mm -hmm. but I never leave my house thinking I don't look good. Yeah, so even yeah, if yeah. I left my house in pajamas, I would think I probably look better than most of the people that I'm going to run into <laughs> in the street, which is maybe like a delusional <laughs> level of self-confidence. Mm -hmm. But I think also that's because I'm interested in that. Do you know what I mean? That's because for me, that's a personal thing but that I like, but not because it's linked well. to my value yeah, as I, a I would man. Usually, I would usually be the same as that. I'll dress comfortable on my day-to-day -day work, stuff like that. I'll, I'll wear the some. The change of your look, has it affected the type of clients that you get? Mm, yeah, probably in a way, yeah. You're a dad. Does that affect at all how you want to be perceived? Mm. Yeah, I feel, I feel like it, in a way, not so much. I, I like to dress how I dress. I like, obviously, my tattoos. I like the way I look. Mm -hmm. But I will try in certain certain circ circumstances where I've had to go to appointments with my daughter, mm -hmm. like um, bring my daughter to school, things like that. I, I like to try and... I feel like dress less 
street wear. Because if you pull oh, up oh, in all the tattoos and, yeah, and, and a full green hair tattoo. Teacher, and I'm just like, this is why she's always yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're over there chilling. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, I, feel, I feel like in a way, well, for me now, like having tattoos, looking the way I do, mm. bald hair, like intimidating. Look. You have to speak to let I, people know. Yeah, I've, and I feel like I need to, I need to dress her as... Yeah. To counteract what you've done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, as her if dad. I'm showing up in scruffy trainers yeah, and yeah. scruffy tracksuits, it, it's not a good look to how I... Boy, so I'd be letting my youth down. Because I feel like as a dad, we, if, you're, if you're going to her school, <clears throat> you're technically to... Because to, you know how you know other parents and other and teachers and things, you're, you're technically representing her. Yeah, and course. And if you're, if you're, as you said, if you're turning up in, in grey tracksuits yeah, or something, yeah, yeah. that type of... Aesthetic, yeah, yeah, yeah isn't definitely. and I feel like your image is more than just what you look like. Exactly. How you carry yourself, exactly. As well. How yeah. you how you approach people, how how you yeah. Yeah. respond and, and to the, people. And the confidence matters where it comes from because mm -hmm. then it affects how deep rooted it is. Mm -hmm. If someone, mm -hmm. I would think, if someone gets their confidence purely based off how other people perceive them, like for example, going to the supermarket mm -hmm. and wanting to dress well in that instance. I would perceive someone as more insecure than the other person. Don't let him talk about you like that. <laughs> I love that. You through. It's not how other people see me. You know, I'm not looking, I'm not, you know, putting on an overcoat so the guy in the checkout gives me a wig. You just feel more confident. Yeah, confident. I, I, I personally, I feel better when I'm dressed up. Confident Is it because you feel less judged? No, I think. Is it because no, you feel more judged? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's too much. No, no, Everybody's like, me, but why? But what? But what? <laughs> no, no, but for, me, it, for me, when I look good, I feel good. If I right. if I'm not looking good, if I'm how do you know that you look good? Is it based? That's on my other opinion. No, so no, 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 opinion. no, 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 it can't be. Why it's based is it off my opinion? Well, what, what I don't understand is that did you feel good when you was in the house before you got dressed? It's a good question. <laughs> yeah. Do you get yeah. what I'm saying? That's a like for me, that's the only, mm. that's the reason why I'm so comfortable being on road looking like a ragamuffin because so you're comfortable. I was okay inside, mm. and for, and I just I have a thing about how much you let other people that don't matter yeah. affect But it depends what you're doing. No, because well, I'm saying, we're talking yeah. about the supermarket. Yeah, yeah, if okay, I'm okay. coming to a shoot or I'm coming to something, I'm like, all right, fine, fine. Yeah, <laughs> let me dress up a let little me, bit. Because I'm literally dressing for mm -hmm. other people. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. not for me. Yeah, yeah. When I, if you see me look half or a quarter decent, mm -hmm. I did that for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. But if it's for me, I went. I came here to get long life milk and cornflakes. Mm. This is for me now. Mm. I I know nothing about who, how the person at the supermarket perceives me is going to affect my career, my finances, my family, or my life. They might say to somebody that they love when they go home, "Oh, there was this guy at the supermarket in a onesie." That's the extent to which I have impacted yeah, their yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. So why do I need to care? What they think about yeah, it's not caring what other people think. It's just it is because it is. Is. you were saying you that you want to look intimidating at the same time. You're comfortable. Huh? <laughs> you're saying you wanted to look intimidating. Yes, that's like, because so, so while, that I can while get wearing to, your onesie. So I get to keep my, my material. <laughs> <laughs> it's still about me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to look slightly leave me alone-ish, yeah, yeah, yeah. so, so that, that I get, get to go home with this the stuff that I left with. Mm -hmm. You looked uh, like you wanted to respond to the question about how you feel at home. Yeah, because I've never thought about that because you're at home. And, you know, you, for me, you, when you're at home, you're getting dressed to go out. I'm at home right now. Yeah. So, as you're at home, would you dress like that? No, that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm just like this because I understand shoot. But I'm yeah. saying, I'm at home at the supermarket. The earth is my home. You feel like you're comfortable enough. Yeah. Yeah, but that's different. You feel good that way. I wouldn't feel comfortable. Like, I, when I go to the gym and I have to stop in the supermarket, I live next door to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. I sometimes feel uncomfortable going to the supermarket in gym clothes. Really? No, so no, 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 no. That's rough. That's that's crazy. Crazy. Too much. Is as far as I'm concerned, if I'm going out side the front door, I want to look nice and so, so it helps you, me feel it's, confident. It's etiquette to when you're going it's out. Just, just to... It's for me. Like if I'm not going outside wearing dressed up, wearing ridiculous shiny <laughs> shoes to get compliments. It's just, I feel comfortable that way. Mm -hmm. Rather than walking around in slippers and shorts and... I don't think people dress well to get compliments. I think they get. I think they dress well to blend in. Yeah. So it's some some sometimes people dress well for con for compliments, but mm. sometimes it's just don't look at me yeah, because yeah. I don't look weird. Like a fear. I look like you. I look normal. You look normal. Let's all leave each other alone. It depends on where you are. It depends on where you live. Depends on what normal. Because when to I you. walk out of my house most days, I mean this is not representative fit, but when I walk out of my house most days in the area that I live in, people are looking at me like. Why are you wearing that? Oh, and, really? Yeah, so I, I think actually 
if you pay attention to fashion or trends or style mm-hmm. or any of that kind of stuff, sometimes it can have the opposite effect of mm-hmm. blending in and it can be standing out mm-hmm. in some ways. But I'm interested mm-hmm. in for you, like what it what it gives to you. Uh, for you as a man, yeah. do you think there's, is that like a, something that was instilled in you from childhood or is it something you've picked up along the way? Is it something about people you've related to before? Like where does it come from? I just think we live in a very image conscious world and I just want That's to- true. And wherever you are, especially when you're, we'll come back to the gay thing, you know, there's different, there's different tribes, there's different mm-hmm. this, there's different that. When you're black and gay, it's a whole different thing. Mm. And just your image is something that's really important. It's yours. There's only I one you. you. See, I this this kind of feels that we're picking on you, but I think it's fine. I no no because I think all of you are like Everybody, that. Everybody, yeah. No, not all of you. Not but I said that people don't want <laughs> people don't want to admit yeah, it. I it think, sounds shallow. It I, sounds judgmental. I, I don't think it's. I I think you're just be, you know it's like Kanye. I don't know why I'm quoting Kanye, but it's like you know that someone says we're all self conscious. I'm just the first to admit yeah, 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 yeah. it. I think you're just admitting it. But I think it's it's happening. It's more prevalent because, you, like you said, we live in an image-based society. I think it's happening everywhere. I don't know if I feel self-conscious in that way. I don't. Do think, you just feel less think, self-conscious. I don't self-conscious feel, in a different way. No, because I, I also at the same time will go out in like dirty Uggs and a dirty old tracksuit that doesn't mm. fit me properly mm. and not feel any way about it. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> it's like if I'm running errands, I'm running errands. Like, and some, some days I've got the time to like look how I might want to look yeah. and other days yeah. I don't have the time to do that. Mm. But I don't leave the house thinking, oh, I'm really ashamed. I hope no one sees me yeah. or no one catches I mean, me. Uh, yeah. Does body image play a big part for you? We haven't spoken about body image yet. Is that a big thing for you? Like, I know you go to the gym. I know you're yeah. a personal trainer. You take a lot of, I assume, pride in your appearance. Does that matter to you as a man? It matters a lot in different ways. When I was growing up, I was considered the skinny kid and Mm. I'm from the country of Georgia. So even if I put on like, I weigh about 83 kilos now lean, even if I bulk up to 90, I'm still gonna be considered the small guy there. Everyone's big. It's one of those where it's like, if you have abs, it just means you're not eating enough. That's it. Right, right, And naturally I'm a very slender guy. So growing up, I always thought to be a man, I need to look big, I need a, I need a certain thickness of neck or whatever. I need a certain uh, strength in my core. It's hard to say because there's like a confirmation bias where I don't want to say this is important just because I do it. I want to do it because it's important to me. Yeah. Um, as a personal trainer, per image is very important. I will judge people based on their bodies because really? not necessarily what they look like, but what it can do. So a lot of athletes, you wouldn't guess they're athletes just because that's how they're built. Like yeah. if you look at... Um, Olympic weightlifting, some of the the heavyweights, they look like your average guys, but they're the Mm. strongest guys ever. Mm. I struggled with body dysmorphia quite a lot as I was growing up, and I always felt like the skinny kid. The minute I was able to shift it and not focus on my body that much is when I was more concerned with what I could do do instead of how I look, even though I am also happy with how I look. So learning uh, martial arts and dance has made me appreciate my body so much more. Mm. And the fact that I feel like I look good as well has helped take the pressure off it. That's why like bodybuilders have the biggest rates of body dysmorphia because that's their sole focus. How do I look? How do I look? What's yeah. my image? Mm-hmm. And that is torture and I don't want that. So do you think for I a body you my belly, you'd be ashamed of it. <laughs> yeah. no, but that's a, I, I that's like, a good I feel like point. most people that go to the gym are other, other people with body dysmorphia. And they, mm. The people that are improving their bodies, they, the they people, see more and yeah. more things that they want to change. Yeah, yeah. Because they're yeah. watching their body, body change. looking at the next shiny thing. Yeah. 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 Body yeah, dysmorphia yeah, exactly. is like a really strong term for it, but there's something they want to improve. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 and yeah. there's and nothing think, wrong with that. That's yeah, a thing for men that we don't talk about a lot. Do you know what I mean? Like we don't, like we all kind of just, chug along and don't really think about what's mm-hmm. going on behind some of those actions and behaviours. You mentioned belly. Yeah. And I'm wondering, like, in your experience, is has that been a journey for you, like, being comfortable yeah, yeah, with you? A <laughs> journey, also, the journey between me and milk. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, being comfortable in your own skin is Yeah, like, so it's like, obviously, I grew up skinny, same as you, and I could eat what I want. And I always used to say, I am just six sit-ups from getting my six pack back. <laughs> yeah. I used to always say that until one day I did the sit ups. And it didn't, and it just didn't <laughs> return. It didn't, so you get to a certain it age just and it didn't just stops, return. Bro, and yeah, I care about I care about physical fitness for the fitness. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah. that's the aspect that I care about. But for the look, I don't care. Mm. Because this six pack man is new. Like let's yeah. I like to look at things at the span of human history. history mm-hmm. And I don't mm-hmm. believe people were wor- walking around in olden days with mad ripped abs and <laughs> chiseled chest. Like, oh, yeah. That's very true. I watch a lot of 80 soaps with my mum, mm-hmm. we're strange. Mm-hmm. And um but Dallas in particular, and there's this um 
there's got a swimming pool in their house. Mm. And if you look at how the men look there, yes, they're toned, mm -hmm. but they're slim. They're slim and hairy. We don't have that anymore. Everyone mm. looks like some sort of superhero. Mm -hmm. These ma well, mm -hmm. that's what we see anyway. Mm -hmm. With these massive arms, this big chest, this chiseled face. Like and it's interesting how you said that. But if, if, the times, is, that, is that just like the perfect image that everyone's chasing after? New, every the new oh, one, yeah. No, 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 that's what everyone wants, that's, I think. That's the societal image now. Like, beauty standards are mad. Like, they've, there's this whole fat acceptance movement. No one talks about skinny shaming ever, and it's a massive problem with men. Like, this whole... Um, oh, yeah, 100%. Like, if you ain't got the shoulders. Yeah, shoulders, like if, if you weigh a certain amount, if you like are a certain shirt size, you will get judged as a man. Yeah. That's not really talked about a lot. Yeah, and height that, as and well. That, that's that's height a part of well. a man's image. So height as well. Yeah, that is a part of a man's image that I'm sure they're very uh, conscious about. Yeah. You know, and that, that is probably a part of a man's image that, the, that they really want to have like the best reputation possible or the best. And, and the fact that men in general are shamed for things they cannot control really yeah. bugs me. Like there's that high. There's height, height there's yeah. a oh, height small a one, yeah. Uh, yeah. energy, that well, phrase is going yeah, around. Especially in the gay community, there's a lot on the um, the genital side. Yeah. Oh, really? The whole term BBC, for example. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Especially when you're black and you're in that community. Oh, okay, more it's, is expected of you. It's <laughs> massive. And you get, you, are, you get questions, are you hung, are you this, are you that? And my response is, well, I can't grow it. You can't grow it. What, mm -hmm. what do it you shouldn't matter. matter. I know no, that no. a lot of my personality is based on how I am as in how I came out. Mm. I know that when I was in school and I was super duper skinny and whatever, and red, 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 I weren't getting all the girls in the world that made me be friends with them. Mm. Then, I, then, I, then now I'm interacting differently. I'm hearing different sides. It's shaping me as a person mm. because how we look affects that I wasn't the tallest guy. Mm. I know that much of our personality today is based around us either having a problem with how we looked or liking how we looked. Because I've always said, I'm glad for every single thing that happened to me in terms of how I came out, because I feel like it made me who I am. Mm -hmm. And I really, like, for instance, like some people are too, <clears throat> not everybody, but some people are too tall to have a personality. <laughs> no, yeah. he's right. I, they, I they, 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 saying, they never yeah. needed it. Yeah, they never people, had to I, I think it's, about, I think it's about embracing it. however you did uh, come out. You yeah, know? yeah, like, for uh, me, we, like instead, instead of going, oh, I wish I could change this yeah, about myself yeah, yeah, and this yeah. about myself. Um, you know, it's it's about embracing how how you did come out and, and this is my image and, and owning it. Yeah. And just I had to find a way to be tall with my personality. Yeah. yeah you get exactly. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then I would be like, and I, I really like me. So I'm like, yo, imagine if I was like, if you didn't mad need tall it. and I didn't need it, then mm -hmm. I wouldn't be me. Did you ever yeah. want to wear Cuban heels like Tom Cruise? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I've, I definitely always <laughs> favored, I definitely always favored the bigger trainers. That's why I always used to like Nike rather than yeah. Adidas, because Adidas is always used to have like, they used to be a bit more yeah, flat, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I, think, I, think, so. I think focusing on your, on your better, or focusing on the traits uh, of yourself that you that you like. I like all of them. Um, there you go. Well, or, <laughs> yeah. in, instead of instead of instead of trying to focus on things that you don't, um, will will improve your image as a whole. If you you know if you're if you're focusing on embracing and uh, you know all, all the things you love about yourself, you will you will love yourself. Yeah. You know? So interesting, isn't it? It feels like this is a conversation that we never really sit down and have as guys. Like mm -hmm. I feel like I've learned a lot in this one about what people have experienced and why they think the way that they think. So. Thank you for chatting on this one, man. This was, yeah, yeah it was good. Tall weirdo. <laughs> <laughs>